The most important priority for you to have when you are tagging any element of your application, whether it is to measure the usage of a feature or anchor in-app messages, is that your CSS selector, which Pendo uses to identify the element in the DOM, is static, unique, and stable. As soon as Pendo is installed in your application, it starts collecting information about every click or focus event on the elements of your pages. And because Pendo starts collecting all of that information right away, our designers made some executive decisions about the particular pieces of information that we'd collect by default. Specifically, Pendo collects the type of element that was clicked, like whether it is a div, a span, or a tag, for example. We collect the ID and or the classes of the element, the title, href, and tab index attributes, if they exist, and also the text inside of elements such as a tags, spans, and divs. You know the structure of your application best. Outside of the default data that Pendo collects, there may be an alternative attribute, or even a set of attributes, that identify the elements of your application more specifically and consistently. If we take a look at this very basic demo website, you can see that several of the elements on my web page are identified through alternative HTML attributes, specifically data-foo and data-bar. Outside of those elements where I have an ID defined, these attributes contain the most specific identifying information about the elements of my page. It is in my best interest to add these custom HTML attributes to my Pendo subscription. To do this, the administrator of your Pendo subscription should proceed to the settings cog, select install settings, and then go to your agent settings tab. If you find here that your application has not installed Pendo Agent 2.0, then go ahead and update your installation. The custom HTML attribute feature is only available on versions of Pendo 2.3 or later. Our demo subscription is up to date, so we already have access to the custom HTML attribute feature at the bottom of this tab. As you can see, I have already added the data-foo attribute to the list of custom HTML attributes associated with my subscription, which means that Pendo is now collecting and associating all clicks and focus events with elements that contain this attribute. We can verify that Pendo is collecting this information in several places. First, let's take a look at the CDN file for this subscription. At the very bottom of the code, there is a section called HTML attributes. You can see that when I load up the CDN file, the data-foo attribute is listed here. Second, we can start to tag features using this attribute. In my features tab, you can see that I have already tagged several elements on my page, some using ID selectors, which Pendo does by default, and some using my data-foo attribute. There are a recorded number of clicks for the features identified via the data-foo selector verifying that Pendo is now associating clicks on these elements with their custom HTML attribute. Finally, let's go into the Pendo designer and attempt to tag a new feature with this custom HTML attribute. When I show tagged features, you may notice that I have yet to tag the third button on my page. Let's do that now. I'll select tag a feature, then click on my button. Right away, Pendo has built a CSS selector to identify this element that is based upon the data-foo attribute. If I had a static ID for this element, then Pendo may have suggested that as the selector first. See for example when I attempt to tag this gray space on my web page. Pendo will recommend the ID for this section because Pendo will always choose the most specific selector available. Next let's go tag the demo link on this web page. As you can see, Pendo has identified that the most specific selector available for this element is a class called link. Well surely there must be something more specific than that. Let's inspect the structure of this page. As you can see, there is another custom HTML attribute that my engineers have built to help identify the elements of this page, and it is called data-bar. If I want Pendo to be able to start tracking feature usage on elements via this attribute, then I have to add it to my subscriptions list of custom HTML attributes. There are actually two ways that I can do this. I can either add data-bar to my list of custom HTML attributes, or I can more broadly define my attribute using the wildcard notation, like so. Let's go with this second option for now. If I refresh my CDN file, you will see that the HTML attribute section has updated to reflect my custom attribute preferences. Now let's try to add that demo link feature in Pendo one more time. Let's go to Features, Manage Features in App, and then tag a feature. Again, we'll select the demo link. And it's worked as expected. 
Now that your administrator has configured Pendo to look for the data dash star set of attributes, Pendo will suggest more appropriate selectors when your users go to tag the element.